The bane to owning a large collection of LEGO is sorting and storing them all. I decided to put a shelving system in my toy room to accommodate them. The chimney runs up through the room and creates this recessed area that's about 4 feet wide and 20 inches deep. The perfect size to put four of these plastic bins side by side. I didn't expect my shelving uprights to be located directly over studs, so I used a top track. The track has holes drilled every 8 inches, so I found the studs in the wall and then did some math to figure out the length to cut the top to. I wanted the pre-drilled holes to be over studs, so I would have sufficient holding power for my collection of LEGO. The uprights are about a foot in from the edges, so I had plenty of space to play with as far as placing the top track. Unfortunately, I was an idiot and didn't check to make sure my camera was capturing any of me mounting the top track. So that's kind of all cut off the camera. You can see me hanging the uprights here. They have an angled slot that fits onto the top track and holds them in that way. If desired, they can be screwed into the walls as well to make them even more secure. My shelves, however, will be as wide as the space, so there's no way the uprights could wiggle back and forth. With the uprights mounted, it's time to cut the shelves. I used a hacksaw, only because I didn't have a bolt cutter. Bolt cutters would be much faster, with the trade-off being that the cut ends will be pointy and a little on the sharp side. Using a hacksaw results in flat ends, and not too many burrs, but takes longer. Of course, if you're going to put the little rubber caps over the ends, which I recommend, it won't make any difference. I'm using a tight mesh here and have to be careful with my cuts. I want it to have the least amount of waste and make as few cuts as possible. The wires run about every inch, so I measured my length and tried to keep everything as close to center on the wires, so they look relatively even. Cutting the stuff with a hacksaw is a pain. Not only does it take time, but the blades like slipping around which scratches up the nice white finish. More reasons to use those little rubber caps. With the first shelf cut, I had to decide upon the height to hang it at. The nice thing about any of these shelving systems is that the heights are fairly easy to change in the future if needed. Most all of the bins I will be using are the exact same size. On the floor I have a few taller drawer doodads that will sit under the shelving. The shelves just sit on top of brackets that snap into the uprights. Again, this is a really nice system to use. I repeated this process a whole bunch, once for every shelf actually. The holes you see in the wall are from some old electrical stuff that I removed. There was a wall lamp and a box there. They didn't make any sense to have them, and they were getting in the way of progress and organization, so they had to go. As you can probably see, there isn't much organization going on here. Most of the bins are filled with random stuff, but with them being clear and somewhat neat, it's possible to find things in a semi-timely fashion. Eventually I'll devote a few days to organizing everything, but that's a daunting task that I'm not looking forward to.